Hey there YouTube, this is Spaldum here. I'm gonna start this video, show you the results of what I've done, and then I will show you how I did it in my silent sped up movie. If you follow my silent video all the way to the end, I'll show you some accessories that I got for the phone as well. So this is my Galaxy Note 7. This has a clear coat, precision tailored scratch protection film this is the first time I've ever done a wet install of a screen protector. It was time consuming, took me a couple hours. And of course this one goes over the whole phone, which I wanted because this has glass on the front and the back. This glass does scratch easy. Of course there's also linings on the sides for this, which probably aren't as necessary, but you know, whatever, it's got them. Might as well use them, try them out. This comes with what you see here, a squeegee, which I had some issues with towards the end. It's starting to fall apart and it was leaving black marks on my hands and my cover here while I was using it. They give you some, this is a wet application. I used about half of it putting this on. So I would say there's plenty in there for the application. Overall impressions, it's probably better than any of the others I've seen out there. It comes over the edge, although it doesn't cover the edge all the way. There's a gap here and a little bit of a gap here around the edges. For the front one here, that would make it very much case friendly. Biggest problem I have with this is the phone's very comfortable on its own, but now that I have this screen protector on there, you can feel the edges of it. Although I have seen that you should, it should be thin enough to be able to still fit a case on it, even though I have it wrapped all the way around. Hoping a lot of these bubbles work themselves out in the next day or two, because there certainly are a lot of bubbles in it. I probably should have taken that sticker off, but hopefully it'll dry up eventually. Glass ones on these, because of how the curve is on this, I think is, is having a lot of issues finding a good glass one. They just don't quite fit right. And I think what I've noticed is that get towards the edge, it doesn't just drop off. It kind of has almost a little bit of a lip right there. If you put case on it that's not going to keep dust out you'll still get dust between your your case and your glass and it'll scratch it up i had to use my own cloth my own microfiber cloth because it didn't come with one and you can see the black that i cleaned off it's on the microfiber cloth stay tuned watch how i did the install and see how it goes
So I hope you uh, found that useful. Here's my accessories. First thing I got was a spec uh, candy shell clear case so that you can see the pretty blue color for impact, which, you know, this is already a pretty strong foam, but it's not indestructible. And I'm going to put this on the back of that case. I also have a iRig mic for when I'm recording with my phone. Helps to get the audio a lot cleaner, clearer. Works great. And I have a bunch of other things here too. A micro USB to micro USB, mini USB adapter. This is HDMI plug. So. You get the USB to USB plug, plug it in here, and then of course I have to use my adapter that came with the phone to plug it in here and plug into the phone. And then power, got to have power. Plug that in, works great. The case should still work with this covering on it, which is better because I don't like the way these edges feel now with uh, the gaps there between the film. And I think it's going to make it. And they are still all intact here. Oops. I think I got a little bit of the stuff on the sides. But that may be the trick, is to leave the sides uncovered. And just do the back and the top to get this case to fit a little better, because it's not quite there. Maybe it'll stretch out a little bit. Pull it back off of here. Make sure it's clean here. that way or that way folds back down and always have fun out there why else would you go out on an adventure other than to have fun